if you want to take better photos with your smartphone then this video is for you So the first tip we'll be talking about is lighting. So everything about photography is lighting. And if you want to get good pictures, you have to always make sure that your subject is facing the source of light. The image by the left, she's back in the sun. And the image by the right, she's facing the sun. You can see how beautiful the image on the right looks just because she's facing the source of light, which is the sun. So always make sure your subject is facing the source of light. The second tip is to manually control your exposure and your focus. What is, your, what is exposure? Basically, exposure is the amount of light that is being allowed to your camera. And most of the times, we let our phone automatically control the exposure when we are taking pictures of a subject or an object. But to get better photos, always make sure that you are using the exposure sliders available on the camera of your smartphone. To manually control your exposure, once you open the camera app, you double tap on the subject and drag the slider up for more brightness and drag the sliders down to reduce the brightness. The third tip we're going to be talking about is composition. Basically, composition is how you arrange your subjects or your object in a particular frame. To get better pictures, you have to make sure that your subject or your object is properly arranged in a frame. For extra composition tip, you can use things like your environment or the rule of thoughts to properly compose your image. Just to add, the rule of thirds is basically a composition guideline that places your subject in the left or right third of an image, leaving the other two thirds more open. Also, take a look at these few examples. The fourth tip I'll be talking about is always keep your hands steady. You don't want to take photos that will end up looking blurry or shaky. So try as much as you can to keep your hands steady. If you find yourself in an uncomfortable situation, you can try placing your phone on a tripod. The last tip I'll be talking about in this video is always edit your photos. Now for smartphone photography, there are apps available for you to edit your photos on your smartphone apps like lightroom snapseed and pixar if you want your photos to look better then you have to always edit them so i'm just going to be doing some little image edits here on snapseed with this image so once you open your image on snapseed you go to tools um, you go to tune image and so for tune image you have things like brightness contrast saturation ambience highlights shadows and warmth these are the basic like tools that we'll be working with. I would love to pop out the shadows a little bit. So come down to shadows. So once you select, once you select anything you want to work with, once you move it to the right, that's like a plus on that tool. Let's say for example, we're working on the shadows. Once I move it to the right, I'm adding more shadows. Once I move it to the left, I'm decreasing more shadows. So it's very easy. So we want more shadows just to pop out the darker part of the image, like you can see in the neck and her face. So just pop it out a little bit. Go to um, highlight, drop down the highlight a little bit. Um, come to brightness. Let's just add some little brightness. Come down to saturation saturation is basically just going to make the colors on the photos pop so let's add a little bit of saturation if you can see like the colors are popping uh let's go down to let's go to ambience ambience is going to handle the colors like in the environment that's why it's called ambience so it's just so once we add it once we you know add it it's going to just make the image pop you can see like the colors are popping the image is looking better than before um um i think that's all let's add a little bit of warmth Always make sure that when it comes to photo editing, always try as much as you can to keep it simple. This tool up here, you can touch it to see the before. This is the before, this is the after, this is the before, this is the after. This editing is a very, very simple form of editing and you can see how just little adjustments can help your photos look better. You can also, um, you can also, there are also some amazing tools here that you could use to do amazing stuff as well um, one of my favorites here is the vintage tool like if you want your image to have like this vintage view so you can make use of the vintage tool to have so you just tap there are a lot of like amazing vintage presets for you here you can just tap this is really really amazing this is really really amazing so i think i like this you just go with this and you click you just click that and you export so yeah simple so you can see like the before also i want to say a big shout out to this model vivian i'm going to leave a link to her instagram on the description below we've come to the end of this video 
If you find any of these tips helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.